Hi, I'm Matt Barlow with Barlow's Tackle, and today we're going to help you find the right lead melting pot. One of the most common questions we get from customers who are starting out with making their own lures is what type of lead melting pot should I get? Today we're going to help you decide, but first a few important safety points. First, you should always pour your lead in a well-ventilated area. You should also always wear safety glasses and appropriate clothing. Be sure all your lead materials are dry before you start pouring. Water and molten lead do not mix. You should always keep children away from your lead materials, and last, you should always wash up after you're done pouring lead. If you're just starting out pouring, the most affordable way to get into it is with a simple open pot that's either cast iron or steel like these. They don't cost much, they're available in a large array of sizes, and they're simple and easy to use. You will need an exterior heat source like a gas burner for them to work. These are great if your lead is a little bit less than pure, if it has dirt in it or other metals, you don't have to worry about damaging your pot when you're using one like this. They're also great if you're pouring heavier items like large bottom bounce sinkers, barrel sinkers, pyramid sinkers, anything over three ounces that may not be as easy with another type of pot. Open pots like this are also great if you're pouring any molds that have an exposed wire like a buzz bait or a spinner bait. Our next type of pot is an electric open pot, much like these. These are very similar to cast iron and steel pots in that you ladle the lead out of the pot, just like you would with those, unless you have a hot pot too like this one which happens to have a built-in spout. Much like iron and steel pots, these are great for molds that have exposed wires or if your lead simply isn't that pure, or of course if you're pouring anything large and heavy. These are still very affordable, though they do cost more than a cast iron pot or a steel pot. Our final type of pot is the bottom pouring electric pot. These are by far the most popular pots we offer because they're still very affordable and they're easy to use. You simply take your mold, you hold it up to the spout on the bottom of the pot, pull your lever until it's full of lead, and then you're done and good to go. These are perfect for small jigs and weights because you can pour a lot of them very quickly and efficiently. You can still maintain the temperature of your lead without worrying about your heat source. These are, however, not appropriate for anything over three ounces, so your larger weights and jigs you will need to use an open pot for. They simply don't pour the lead fast enough to get a good fill on molds like that. Next is any molds with exposed wires. Again, spinnerbait molds and buzzbait molds simply don't work with these because there is not enough room under the pot to get the mold in place. Bottom pouring pots need to be kept full of molten lead for best performance. All of that extra lead in the pot helps force the molten lead out of the bottom faster, and it helps you retain heat better so your lead stays hot longer. Finally, with a bottom pouring pot like these, your lead does need to be very pure. Any impurities like dirt or metals, other than lead, can over time fill the pot and cause it to stop working. That's our introduction to lead melting pots. We hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, you can always find us at barlowstackle.com. I'm Matt Barlow. Thanks and good fishing.